So you might be wondering how you can go ahead and pretty much lock your photos on any Android phone. Now, this is pretty basic. It's basically using the Photos application, the Google Photos app. If you don't have the Photos app, let's say you have like a, the Gallery app on your Samsung phone, you may want to switch to the Photos app. I do have an, another tutorial on how to do this on your Samsung and other phones out there. But in this case, we'll be looking at stock Android. So the first thing you want to do is you want to make your way over to whatever Android phone that you have, the Photos, the Google Photos application. And from here, you want to find the photos that you want to go ahead and basically lock up. So if you don't want to password lock the whole entire Photos app, you can move photos and videos into a locked folder. So what you can do here is you can basically choose the specific photos that you want to go ahead and lock. So let's say I wanted to lock these three ones. Well, what I can do here is I can choose those three ones. And from there, what I can do is you'll see at the bottom, there's a few options. If you scroll all the way to the right, there's a final option that says move to locked folder. Well, what I can do here is I can click on move to locked folder and you will see this option come up. It says I can hide these items everywhere elsewhere in Google Photos and other apps on this device open with the device screen lock. You know, their items will be backed or shared or whatever and the items will be deleted if you basically uninstall the Google Photos application. So keep that in mind. Now, when you're done, you can go and click setup and you can go and set this up. You want to go into settings. You have to have a screen lock on. If you do not have a screen lock on, that is basically the main issue. So once you go ahead and turn on your screen lock, you can go and hop back out. You should be able to go ahead and set this up as you normally would. And that is basically all you're going to have to do. It really is that basic. So once you have that set up, you can continue on using your phone as you normally would. And you can lock up all these other photos if you want to. So you can just keep choosing whichever ones you want. And from there, you can just continue to you know add them to a locked folder. And that's how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.